best buds it's Kathy with Kathy's garden and I am so happy that you've joined me today today we're going to make belly band with ruffled belly band tucks but first let's have our shout out to Mitzi SM Amu Mags Janine Wild Rosen Lainey Rebel and Lace Linda Haku Barbie Hilda and Lenny I appreciate each and every one of you Okay, you guys, so I have a piece of cardstock, and this is from Chapter One Papers. This happens to be three and a half by seven, but your belly band needs to be the size in which you're going to put into the journal that you're working on. So maybe you're doing a short little journal, maybe you're doing a tall traveler's notebook, whatever it is. That will determine the size of your belly band. Not, you know, you're not going to have to make them all this size. You're making them the size that works for you. This is the measurement of what I'm working on right now. Now, you can always sew around the edge. I'm not going to. And in my examples, I have two that I'm going to show you at the end in different colors with different ways. In fact, I put some extra ruffled bands on one of them. So I have rounded the corners and I have gone ahead and I've already inked it. I didn't have to worry about doing the back because this is going to be a belly band. And in a belly band, you attach to your page at the top and at the bottom so that you will be able to stick items inside this way. So it's like another tuck spot. Okay, so that's what a belly band is just in case you're going, what is a belly band? <laughs> That's another, that's a name they give for another tuck. It's a shape. It's a style. Okay. So with that said, I would like to put one belly band on here. But what I'm going to do is I have first have my items in which I'm going to place on or inside this top part of the belly band. Now you can always slip something in this way underneath because that's what the belly band is all about. I'm just looking around to see if I have something that I can put in here like you know you you'll be putting something in this way as well. Okay just so that's clear. I like to set these in. Now I've already rounded the corners. This is from digitalcollage.com. It's a one of their Japanese or Oriental uh, printables and this one is one that one of my first ones I ever got and it's Shabby Dabby Doo Dot. I don't even know if she offers this anymore. This is when she kind of did this. Nothing was real bright like she has now. It was very kind of um, toned down and this is what it looks like. So I'd like to place my items onto my card so I know where I would like to place my belly band. So I think I want to get it in maybe something like this. And I'm going to, looks like, place my belly band about right here. I think that will work nicely. So once again, I am going to use my hot glue gun. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue right here on the end. That will allow me, whoops, don't get that in it. That will allow me to have instant glue. Instant, um, it will, all the glue's instant, but <laughs> have it uh, adhere quickly. That's what I'm trying to say. It will adhere quickly. It'll get stuck faster and <laughs> there won't be any problem with it giving way because it is a belly band and it will hold your items that you place in here just like that. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, I think that's so cute. So I'm going to trim this on this side right here. Actually, I'm going to trim it a lot closer. And I'm going to go ahead and trim this one closer as well. All right, so now we look like this. Oh, I love that. So I would like to decorate on top here. And I'm thinking I might like something like this on the top. 
So I'm going to switch to my Tombow glue, which no longer has any labels on it. And I'm going to just go like this. And what else do I want to do? I want that up there? No, I think I want my butterfly up there. Well, I do know I want my bling right in the middle. So let's do that since I know exactly where I want my bling. And I got to think about my other, how I want that to be. All right, right on there, just like that. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like, I like that. I think that may be over on the side though, maybe not right there in the middle. Maybe I don't want that. I'm not sure, but I do want the butterfly in here. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in the center of the butterfly so the wings kind of come up just a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more bling right in the middle. And I'm going to grab my pin and I'm going to lift off my silver bling right here or clear bling kind of looks silver but I guess it's clear okay I think that is looking really nice oh I do like that now I've got to decide do I want this here or do I not want this here I'm thinking it might be a little bit too much I think I like it without all right so here's one here with the one belly band in the middle. Lay it down just, there we go. That gets it all in frame. And I'll let you look at it closer up here while I grab my dual belly bands. Look at there, I've got two of them. So there's two different things that get placed in here. That got stuck onto there. There we go. And then this as well. I think that's really sweet. And then I have this one here. It's in the creamy kind of colors. And this is a chapter one paper. And this is chapter one. This is chapter one. And this is digitalcollage.com. And then this one here, the base is a collage that I did. It looks like chapter one paper collage. And, hmm, you know, I'm not real sure, but I'm going to guess that these are digital collage. This is chap, I mean, no, this is um, my porch prints. And I think that's chapter one. Hmm, I'm not real sure, but I think it is. Oh, you guys. I think these are so cute and so much fun to make. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.